Hey guys and welcome to a new video. So this video is talking about how you can get your skills. So actually I got a question from some time how I can get my skill points and from where I can get it and all of this. And actually I wanted to make a video early about this but actually wanted to wait until I can see what Solbost will give you from them. So maybe I can make a video can be better or can at least work for a long time so I don't have to make something like this again or at least for some time so today we will talk about this how you can get them from where you can get everything away from you have them on Solbost or not and all of this so don't forget to like the video subscribe if you didn't let's begin this first of all what is still points from the start so if you press T you will find your stills like this especially if you go for this one so begin to have these stills this points you can see I have 10 from 10 from here on this hill. Normally you will find them here. This tells your or this points you can get from getting some items and consume it. So this can give you one point or two point. It's about the item. And with this it can increase your damage on the scale. So if I will say this one have now one million point nine as you can see. If I will say I will make it down to or but because I can go for this so you will see the number normally going down let me see so it's 1.936 if I will go up it will go for 1.955 for sure there is some entries the entries is about every point how much it can give you so if I will decrease this I have 50% damage more on my lunar slash because of these points if I go down it will decrease by 1% until I begin to reach this 5 it begin to go with 2 but because I have this from item so I have this 4 will always stay with me it's coming from for sure some other items like this amulet it give me enhance for some of my skills so they can increase also skill points okay Normally I will get them from the soul boost or playing the normal raids for this or something like Dawn Bright Amulet. You can get it from playing the Shrouded Junara and try to find it for sure it's important for you to get it anyway. So if you did this it will give you more points. Okay so now let's begin how to get these points from the start. Okay so I will press U and go for activities and go for level 60 for sure if you reach the level 60 you will find this book take it and you will have five from this points that's the beginning and for the others you will go here for this merchant or this merchant both of them can have them and go in you will find royal zen bean this one you can get it just from pvp and there is no way but pvp it will give you one point so just make all of this price and use it and it is a royal zen bean consume it and you will get it okay away from this you have sharing the flame let's start you can get it from here Offals, Offal of Silence, Darkness and Romanus, the three of them can give you one still. On the moon pellet with five other items, it can give you one. And you have secret on the moon techniques from one to five. All of this you can get it from here and consume them. Okay? Normally you can get the others with the Hundred Moon Pellet from this merchant. I will show you the normal one on Celestial Basin this one if you go there normally you could get it but now I don't need this anyway away from I can see them there so they are on another place so away from this you have on soul boost you will get all of them so they will be this one they will give you the hundred one pellet so you don't need to get it from any other place and one two three four five you will get all of this it will give you one item okay for other items you have to go for you here go for stills after for sure you did any one of them and begin to take what you can okay so for other items you have everything it can tell you this one need volume one volume two volume this one for the offals this one flaming shining flame elixir i showed you this stage volume four five okay from here maybe we'll begin find something different so here you will find Montai the Blossom and the Blight Berry, uh, Lunar Stone, Arshan Roots and this one. So these five items if you want to get them simply press F5 like this and search for the names. So let me type as example Moon 
died and press enter so actually i can find some other sims so maybe i will put b after this you will find nothing that's something great for sure but if i will say go for blossom as example like this you will find nothing no one selling them at the moment so the other way for sure and that's the normal way away from i don't like it that much you will go for select then go for mundrafish you have here four areas every area from them can give you one of these five items you can take this one as the last thing to do or maybe one of the last for the skill points so it's about you you have to try a lot until you find something from them and begin to consume everyone you can get after you get this one as example go for second area do second area go for third fourth until you get all of them and for the last one on the moon remedy this one normally for land crafting this one so you can ask your guild master to do this or maybe you will find it on f5 if you give it a try so actually you can get it but super high price as you can see so make your clan leader do this for you and it will be very easy okay for other skills so if i go also for you again go for skills so let me take a look so you have volume 6 volume 7 volume 8 volume 9 this normally can come from Centum of Master after you did the currency, which is this one. You can buy every one of them, it will be about 300. I will show you this later. But the other way, because we have new soul boost, so you can get them from soul boost. That's why I waited to make this. So if you look here, you will find volume 7 is here, you will find volume 8 is here, and volume 9 is here, and actually, you will find volume 6 also will be where um one of them this one volume six so you can get it also from here okay after you get all of this so you will find yourself don't have that much but this okay so you have one two three every one of them can give you two points and they need some charms to consume so let me go for the area and we'll show you okay so here we are on a genera monastery for sure for who don't wear that so you go for solid and this one okay so after you go here you will go for this merchant here in the middle so go for certain tab this one so you can find them there is volume six seven eight nine as always and also there is this item is what you actually need this one is called master mysterious charm chest it can give you a random one of these six charms this charms for sure give you some buffs but away from the buffs what you need is to get for one of these three twists all of these sets and consume all of them for sure if you want to do this so you have to go for sanctum of master solo dungeon the solo dungeon also can drop this chest for you by the way so it can help to make all of this going a bit faster so anyway consume every one of these sets you will get one skill and consume any random one of them but you need 20 that can give you certain skill and consume 50 from this it can give you the third skill so with this as you can see consume all the sets from them you will get this and if you consume 20 from this you will get this two points and if you consume all the 50 from this it will give you the third one for sure it can take a long time so you have to play Sanctum of Master every day if you want to do this and try to go for the highest stages you actually can go for so it will be a bit hard task but nothing to do but this so I can say that's all for the skills points you can get for sure these two maybe also not that hard you have soul boost now can give you the shadow fury amulet and silver steel amulet away from this one don't bright don't bright you should get it from here on this place so you can get it if you are lucky from normal mode or hard mode it can drop away from this you will have to buy it with this currency from this guy here and buy the amulet you can get it from here and for sure if you need the badge you can get it from here so you have to go for the amulet for the points but made this for later because mystic badge is far important for you for the damage more than this and that's all for the skills so just go for it and enjoy it will give you 
I will not say high boost for your damage, it will then give you some fair damage, it's not bad, it can help for sure, but it's not something too much that you have to focus on it, if I will get these points I will do a lot, especially it's about your character more than anything new. As an example, I have here my flesh step 1 of my strongest still, so if I put 10 points on it, that can make a lot of difference for me, because it can give me, as you can see, about 30% on damage on this still, and this still is actually overpowered on Dead Master, so something like this can make a lot of difference for me. So if I get my 10 here as an example, and about 10 here on my own slash, maybe other points I will get will not make that big difference, for sure it's different from character to character, some characters have more than one is still doing better, some characters have about 3 stills to do some good damage, so it's about your character more than anything. Anyway, good luck, do your best, and thank you for watching guys, and see ya in the next video guys, bye bye!